Mr. Wright, you explained that techno-economics is a relatively new science. Um, how did it come into existence and what does it explain for us today? What techno-economics explains is the value of innovation and invention, or as we refer to it tonight, a technological discontinuity. And how it came into existence is when researching technopolis, it became evident that there was no data and no model which addressed the actual impact of an invention on the existing or future techno-economic continuum. And by looking at techno-economics, one can place a value on invention. And using the mathematical models, one can determine the expected impact on the existing techno-economic continuum, which is really the integral of the existing technological continuum and the existing economic continuum. And by that, you can estimate or get a model of how the techno-economic potential of an invention will be realized in the economic environment. And there are several variables that you highlighted in the techno-economic potential of an invention. How can you quantify these variables, and which do you think will best predict the economic and social value of a product? When you look at the variables of techno-economic potential, whether it's magnitude, polarity, stability, momentum, presence, or other var variables, or even invention-specific characteristics, which one can look at as a coefficient to the multivariable equation, you can integrate those to determine what your techno-economic potential is. And it's difficult to estimate which one will be more important because if an invention has a very high characteristic of magnitude or a very strong polarity or a significant presence, the impact of the, on that variable will be either enhanced or dampened depending on where that invention is invented or what factor inputs are available to be brought to bear in developing that invention. So probably the best way to approach it is to look at the invention for what it is, estimate the different characteristics and then determine whether any of the invention-specific characteristics correlate to a coefficient that would have a very strong effect on its realization of that techno-economic potential, either in a positive or negative way. And you also mentioned that a techno-economic approach to research and development could change the world by developing better technopolies. How, in fact, do you see this approach changing the world for the better? I think it can. I think that if techno-economics is adopted and utilized, then governments, private organizations, and others can value their invention in terms of techno-economic potential and then make sure that the inventions are transferred or properly introduced to environments where the factor inputs can be utilized to realize that potential. And when one looks at the global economy and that you look at unemployment and you look at uh, blocks that exist to innovation, to conflicts that exist in marketplaces, that much of this can be solved or mitigated by taking an invention of the proper techno-economic potential and transferring it into an environment where it can thrive, or identifying that an invention is in fact in a good environment to be developed where it is. And I think that if invention and the benefits of invention are actively managed, 
then the material factor inputs can be nicely matched with the type of invention and it will benefit economies, people, governments tremendously. And as of now, that often does not occur. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.